Allami enemy, only abadami, and I'm a family. When God get ready, you have him move. Yes, Bishop Bernard. Um, you know, I was wondering, you know, like, I don't know how I should put it. Just come out to the and done, man. <laughs> well, sir, it's it's kind of a, a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if I can get rid of some of my enemy them. Because I feel like it's true me in a church. You know, have some people not like me, you know. <laughs> well, sir, you know, um, <laughs> you know, since I come into the church, you know, and there is just something about Sister Henry. Like, I noticed my spirit just take her. Like, she just have a little soothing spirit. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother Brian, hold on. Let me see if I understand clearly what you're saying. It sounds like you like Sister Jamila. And if that's the case, I can talk to her for you. Because listen, in my church, I want to ensure that all the young people them get married. And not only that they get married, I don't want any form of fornication in my church. So I can talk to her for you and see if I can get the two of you together. Because guess what? I like to see young, young people together. And it, I think the two of you would make a wonderful couple. Well, Bishop Bernard, if you would kindly do the honor for me to just do that, talk to Sister Henry for me, I would strongly appreciate it, Inessa. Because I really take a strong likings for Sister Henry. And I just know that we can go far. With fear head off me, Ed. We can go far. It's and, and you know, and you know, sir, you are a man of mm -hmm. your prophecy them ever come true, sir. And if you just prophesy that for me, me, me know we can just, you know, 
Don't worry about it, man. I have you covered. Um, I don't, if, if you're not going anywhere, you can stay and help me sing a few songs, get rid of some of the bad spirit them. Well, sir, I, I, um, I kind of did when I live. Hurry. And I don't want to disturb your peace. Just, all right, do what I have this. No problem, man. Thank you again. You see, just um, talk to Sister Henry for me. All right, no problem. All right. Yes, sir. Just help yourselves. Um, yes, Sister Jamila. Yes, Bishop. I realize something is different about you today. And I just want to let you know that we are not running a social club here, we are running a church. And you cannot come to church attire like how you, you stay. Short dress, no covering, big ears ring and crocs. No man, th this is unacceptable. You have to do better. You are a long-standing member of the church and you cannot dress like this. Bishop, I understand what you are saying. But I always attire properly. I wash and I don't have no clothes to wear today. I close them in the panty line. So you think I should have um, missed church because I don't have no clothes to wear? Remember, the Bible says, come as I am, you know. All right, all right, Sister Jamila. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Um, I know you are single. And Brother Brian is also single. And I get to understand from his words that he's showing a bit of liking towards you. I like you. And on my perspective, I feel like both of you would make a wonderful couple. So I want to let you know that I'm give, with my blessing, I would love to see both of you go on a date. But Pastor, you've gone one step ahead of me, like no consultation. You already have planned date in your head, um, Bishop. I, I, don't, I don't think that's possible. I don't see myself doing that. I have other things to focus on. All right, Sister Jamelia, just think about it. As a bishop in the church, I love to see when young people get married. You know what I mean? I love to see when young people get married. Because I know, I know all of you are eating salt, you know, and I know a lot of things might be going on in, in your head. So just think about it. It's nothing to really rush in, but think about it, all right? Think about it, and I'll, and I'll, 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 I'll definitely see how it goes. And I'm here to counsel if anything, all right? I mean, I have nothing to think about that. You know, possible. All right, all right then, Sister um, Jamina. Let's go. See, some, see, I'm, see, I'm bus coming. Taxi too. Let's, let's go. Anyways. Yeah. Oh my, you, you felt the spirit. Did you? Service was so good. Okay. Man, Pastor B did a good job today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what are you heading home to do? Look some food, watch some movies. But as we mentioned that, you know, you know, no say. Pastor Russell approached me the other day and tell me about marriage. Why me feel married to the, the, the brother we just come? Brother, um, when you? Brian, you can't imagine? Of course, I can imagine, sister. The same thing just the other day and years ago, the entire church tumbled down for me and I'm happy married. Show me name Sky the Matabo said that's the gateway to heaven, but I'm not well married. I'm not ready to marry yet. It comes like a sister around with them people up at church, you know. I really don't want to have to change my church, you know. I love up at that church, you know. But this marriage thing, man, it just, it just rests on my brain. Marriage is not run away, you know. And I talk about say we must not fornicate. Fornication is not for Christian. But guess what? Me not want to put in a bag, you know, sister. Me can't just <laughs> marry it so without sampling the product. Me have to sample it first. No, man, sister, that is a very sinful thought. You have to keep yourself. You have to keep yourself. But if my rush in a marriage, just to avoid fornication, what about adultery? Yeah. So what's my marry the wrong man? You don't have to rush into it, but you don't have to test out no put out no bag. You understand? Just keep yourself. The right man will come. Don't allow them to pressure you. All right? Me I try. But as for me, I don't think I want to marry him. I mean, I don't even like the man. I mean, probably we exchange word one, one and two times, but me not like him. Follow your spirit. Follow your gut spirit. Yes, I am going to follow. Although the Bible says, well, try the spirit. That's all? Something like that, sister. But I don't think I'll be trying that spirit. I don't like him any at all. 
Don't even like hear the sound of marriage. Marriage. Commitment right. and stress. It just not going to work out. I don't see myself doing that in at all. Mm, it's not about something that's coming out and it's coming from the Sunday dinner when we're going to go for you. Ah, true. As we call, you know. So the rain almost wet before me reach up here. You know, I have no little seeds. I thought me come to talk to you about, you know. Not on your foot, them sister. You're strong enough. Out of mercy. But anyways, you know, no say. As we that talk about the other day, about the marriage thing. You know, so the pastor actually approached me again about it. And it's confirmed this time. What you mean? What you mean? Married, my dear. Married. Mm -hmm. Actually, what if I'm married? Brother Brian. Okay, sister. I don't trust him. So you, you want to marry him, right? You want to marry him, right? What do you mean, want to? Remember, I tell you that I don't want to marry this man. I don't know him from anywhere. Well, anyways, um, we've been thinking about it and we've been single for this long while. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe it's the Lord way of calling me. Maybe it's the Lord way of calling you. Mm -hmm. I already call you already. That's why you're in the church. Calling me to marriage, me dear. I'm tired of the single life as well, but I don't know. I think it's just too sudden at this point. So you sample this thing already? You sample it? What are you talking about? Remember, we are two different people, you know? I promise, I made a promise to the Lord. You want him to have sex yet? No, how if you have sex? You know that's not the right way to go about things. Nobody no need to know, sister. You can't buy a pussy. The Lord, dog. the Lord will know. I can't do that. You I'm a woman of principle. You need to. You need to. It you doesn't make sense you're rushing to marriage to please your sexual desire, whatever urge you might have as a single woman. <laughs> you might run into adultery. You're not making any sense. Right? I am. You're I mean, you're one of the persons that I look up to when I came into this church. And you're advising me like this? Sister Sky, I expected better from you, you know. Little did you know, I had a church sister called Sister Samantha. Marry a man, puss in bag, and guess what? Couple weeks after she complaining, want to divorce. So the man can't please him properly, sister. It best to know what you're buying or what you're about to take for the entire year. For the rest of your life, with your chat foolishness, sister. You know what? I am going to leave it to the Lord in prayer. I am not going to sample anything. What if I should die right after that? You know what that would mean for me? I'll repent for you. You'll go to heaven, sister. You know what? Clearly, you are some comedian at this point. But it's my decision right about now. I mean, I know it, it's kind of rushy, but based on the fact that I've been single for so long, why not give it a shot? I thought I could seriously confide in you, you know. But clearly it's not going to work. You're giving me some, some, some crazy um, advice right now. Sister, what do you have to say? But I don't, I don't think I should marry right now. You know if, I even, if I even agree to the, to the wedding, try him out first. I try him out. Who to tell the pastor in the church, her husband before, sister? Who to tell you can't allow pastor to preach into your ears and say, this sister or this brother, it can't work. What do you think the Lord would say, sister? What do you think the Lord would say about that? We cannot normalize sin, you know. Just sex him one or two times and let you repent after. No one need to know the Lord will forgive you. The Lord is a forgiving God, sister. He's a forgiving God. And may I just remind you, that the mere fact that you thought about it, that is very presumptuous, you know. I am, well, end of discussion, I'm not going to try. That's all I came here to talk to you about. The rain ended, so I'm going to run. You can leave if I want to. 
up, sister Sky. This is very unlike you. Why are you behaving like this? I'm being practical. I'm being honest. I bet your marriage won't work. I bet it won't work. Mm -mm -mm. Fine, be practical as much as you'd like, but what about being biblical for once? How about that? Huh? The Lord will forgive you. At least once. At least try once. I am not going to do it. I am sorry. I have to run. See you Sunday in church. And hope the Lord forgives you for thinking like this. You will. Of course you will. And you don't come back if I don't agree to what I have to say. No, don't come back. May the Lord forgive you because you know not what you have done. Have Keep a great day. Keep up yourself. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Sister Sky? Sister Sky? Hello? Hello? It's Brother Bernard. Give me a minute there, please. Yes, Brother Bernard. I mean, Bishop Bernard. Yeah, How are you? I am so happy that you correct yourself. All right. I'm sure we have this discussion already, you know. So as a woman of God, you should not wear pants. But Bishop, I'm at home. You call me out, I'm at home. Reading my Bible. All right, you know what? I, 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 I didn't come here for that, anyhow. Um, are you aware that um, Sister Henry and Brother Brian will be going on a date? And a what? A date. Well, no, but I know now, so what's the issue now? Okay. All right. And, and, and also, I know you might not be aware that normally when people are going to date each other in the church, myself, along with one of the church sisters, should accompany them. Just in case, after the date, they feel like do anything extra, nothing like that don't happen, because I strongly believe in what the Bible says, no sex before marriage. You understand? So we have to ensure so we eliminate those type of behavior. So I am inviting you along with me and um, uh, um, um, Brother Brian and Sister Henry to go on a date. But Bishop, why me by me? Why me? There are other members there, Bishop. And why you want to come with them to their date? Remember, before you get married, well, you're I'm... usually sex to bishop. You just hear everything. Listen, man, I am the bishop, and I'm me help make the rules in the church, and that is what I say, and I saw it all go. You are come or you not come? I guess I have to come. All right, all right. So I just, that me come for me, Ken, all right? So we're going on a date? No, we're not going on a date. We're accompanying them. Listen, man, don't go back there. What used to happen in the past when I was a pastor, that was good. No, I am a bishop. So not like that, no frolicking. All right? We just have make you know. All right? So I'll call you and let you know exactly when is the date. All right? L later, later. Wow, well, good bishop. I still look good. I still look good though. Tight pants, bishop. I'm sorry. Good evening, everybody. It's such a wonderful feeling that all of us can gather together. You know, the Bible said, where, where, where more than two is gathered together, it's praise and worship. All right? Um, before we do anything, because you know we can't do anything without invoking the Holy Spirit. So we're going to ask Sister Sky to lend us a word of prayer. OK. Let, let's hold hands. Sister Sky, Sister Sky, yeah, go ahead. Father, we gather here today, God Almighty, God, to give you worship, to glorify your name, God Almighty. For Sister Henry, Bishop Bernard, God, and also Brother Brian, God. Sister Henry is on a date, God Almighty. 
I pray, oh God, that everything will work out as planned. Everything will work out the right way, God Almighty. I pray that, Sister Henry, will listen to me, oh God, and to sample the product, God Almighty. I pray that that sample products will bring forth many other products, God. I pray that she will be blessed. Her home will be blessed. The church will be blessed, God. Jamaica shall be blessed. I shall be blessed, and we all shall be blessed. In Jesus' magnificent name, I pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Um, Sister Sky, I, I, I was listening to the prayer keenly, and I don't know which sampling of product you're talking, but Sister Henry, I hope no sampling of any product not going on because sex out of marriage is sin. All right? But, you know, Father, let's, let's enjoy the... The festivities, and I hope you, you guys don't take anything out of context, sister. Sky is just here for moral support. We are not together, all right? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Only Bishop. So, so um, what's it, what, what do you like to eat? I like fish. You like fish? What kind of fish? Because me don't like the little barracuda fish. I, don't, I, don't, I like all the types of fish. I don't know the particular names. Oh, 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 oh. So what do you, you say, like? Me, well, me, me kind of picky now. I'm a very picky eater. <laughs> you know one thing, Sister Henry, you know you have a very beautiful smile. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Like, I tell you, you know, like from the first time I come to the church, mm? my eyes could never come off of you. Really? And I didn't even notice you? Listen, I'm, I'm that kind of a man, you know. Uh-huh. I, I, I kind of like my things private. You see oh. me? But I was just there admiring you. Oh, yeah. And this is, this is, this date, you don't even know how God has answered prayers because... When I said to Mr. Bernard, you know, mm -hmm. that I like you, I never know so he would have actually, this would have actually come true, you know. <laughs> well, I am surprised myself because I didn't see you, like, going on a date with you. Well, they, them say them, anything the lads put together, no, no man put a son down, so. Yeah, you're right, you have a point. Well, let's, let's go, because I don't like that Mr. Bernard and, and sister, just, they're not giving a little privacy or no. <laughs> Sister Brian. Sister Sky, what, what's going on there? I'm doing great. What are you doing here? You know, I just um came out. I'm unconnected on this meeting. I was passing by, but I had to stop and come out of the car to attend this meeting. What are you doing here? Just taking a walk as usual. Okay. So this is the fancy place that you come and take a walk at? Something like that. Okay. So tell me about your new job, this marriage. How is it going? So why would you refer to my, my marriage as a job? It's a, it's a next job. <laughs> it is. Really? Mm -hmm. Um. 
Where do I start from? Start. It's not what I expected. But we're we're coming along, but there's just one issue. And based on the fact that we, we talked talked about him and you disagreed with me. I don't even think I should be telling you this. What? The sex? He's not performing? I am not even surprised by your question. Like, typical you. Why is that the first thing that came to your mind, Sister Sky? Because they not sampled the man before you get married to him. You want this sampling sampling, Sister Sky? You came here to upset my spirit this evening again? I hope not. But anyways, let me tell you. The only issue is that he's not so much of a clean man. He's not, he's not. You're laughing at me now, really. <laughs> what do you want me to do to cry? If All right. a laughing matter, like, he's not, he's not very clean and... Be more specific. What are you talking about? You know, like, general stuff, like, if I cook, he eats, he leaves the dishes. You understand? I mean, I know it's my... I know that I should play a role in cleaning the house, but even if I do that, he's not helping me to maintain that level of cleanliness in the house. You understand? So even his, you know, underwears and all of that, he just hangs them on the dress and I'm like, babe, you cannot do this. And he continues to do it. You know, they said cleanliness is next to godliness. And it's just the fact that he just cannot do basic things. <laughs> like, even he doesn't even bead. I mean, I bid twice per day, twice. and he probably bid like twice per week. Interesting. You understand? I mean, like, Sister Sky, you don't even understand what I'm going through, you know? Like, I'm tired to talk to this man. Like, if nastiness was a person, it would be my husband. And, you know, the funny thing is, it's not my place to be bashing my husband like this to a complete stranger. Well, you and him would be a stranger, but you're my friend. So it would not be good to bash my husband like that. But the truth is the truth. In a way, that's marriage for better or for worse. That's what I signed up for, sister. That's what I signed up for. That's not what I signed up for. You're right. They said better for worse. But at this point, I think I'm at my breaking point. That like there's nothing I can do to convince him that, OK, you need to start being clean. Men, men normally are nasty. This man literally dotting, dotting, dotting so till. And you know the pastor never warned me about this? <laughs> My God. The pastor did not warn me about this. I feel like it's a trap. I feel like they set me up, sister. Anyways, um, I don't want to spill the beans. I don't want to be completely honest because honestly, to you, it's like, I'm telling you the worst thing ever. So guess what? Um, it's best you see the pastor. Because my suggestion, you don't take my advice, and I don't want to come off too strong this time. Speak to the pastor. You understand? Well, I don't want to seem like I have too much or a bad mind. Since I'm not married, I'm not a married woman, so I don't want to be up in your marriage. Go to the pastor. <laughs> so, so, Sister Sky, when since you don't want to be up in my business, and you always open my business. But anyways, um, you're probably right. That's the right thing to do. So I'm going to do that. All right. But anyways, um, I have to finish up with this meeting. So I'll be here. All right. Brother, you know something that's I'll take me I'll take me. Stop, let me talk to you, no man, we don't want to load up the thing. Brother, I'm to you. Get up, let me talk to you.
Can you hear me now? Can you like your you? What I'm telling you? Oh, you're asleep, sir. You breathe something? You hear what I'm saying now? See, run from the office, run there, sir. I was growing there a while ago. Because I changed, I changed, I just changed the shirt. And then you see a shit, and I pass the girl in the office. Wait, wait. You see, I'm talking about the joke, man. You have to do better, brother. You have to do better. Brother, what do you mean? What do you mean by me, me, me shit in the past, brother? Yes, brother. I have to do better. Me shit in the past, brother. Say me, brother. Brother, brother, what do you mean by me shit in the past? Me? Listen, listen. I run there, so me there. Run there, somebody there, cut cane from a man, brother. What do you mean by me shit in the past, brother? What kind of disrespect? I disrespect you, I can't disrespect my youth. Are you then? Brother, me a big man, my youth. What kind of shit in the past, brother? I can't come, come to man about that boy shit in the past. What do you try to do? I violate you, I try to violate me. Missy say, you ain't you know, no straight, you know? Who fight no good? Who fight yeah, no good? No good I might take her. What do you mean by me no good? And a matter of fact, to a man that we work with, a chat say, you know, be it every day, come for chap, you know, fraudsy. I don't even expect this behavior from you, how you are going, and you say you are Christian. Christian, brother, you can't come just come, come, and you can't come style me, and that means you're not styling. Eh? You don't watch the amount of shit. shit. You like a shit in your past, so and so for you. Brother, you can't look. What you want? You want me to take off my clothes? Oh, yeah, move here now. You want me to take off my clothes? Eh? I think I want to take off my clothes, Bishop. I'm saying I'm not shitting now, brother, and I'm shitting now, Pastor. I mean, when I walk through Pastor, and then. You know what? Me, 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 me move fast here, man, because I don't want to chop off your face, what I say, my boy. I think I'm to you. I'm to you. Hey, boy. Yo. 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 You say for, yo, you say for boss, you want me. I bust up your face, what I say, here. Yeah. You can't come chop for me, shit, try that song. You know about, about, about me, I shit no way. Yeah, you know about me, I shit no way, boy. You can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, go. It's a lot, I sell every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway, is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, better see with the negative. Where are the funny bed? <clears throat> Big one little piece before we go to sleep, man. You serious right now? Me tired and I'm just sleep. Babes, come on, man. Me, me tired too, you know, man. I work, me I come for a minute. Tomorrow we we'll deal with that. Tomorrow you do that. Babes, come on, man. Just, just. Just be a little piece, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stay long. Just one little piece. You're not here. I'm so tired. All right, lay down just like a lay down. This. I mean, just come over, over on this. I really want to sleep right now. Just, just go and go be it. Sure. What are you doing? Oh. Good afternoon, and God, I'm born again. Born of the water, but the grace and the blood, and God, I'm born again. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Are you coming for a little praise and worship? I don't find that right now. I don't know if you spend time, but I don't have the time right now. Um, Sister Jamelia, how are you so voice towards? What, what, what's going on? Pastor. Honestly, I don't know how much longer I can take this. Imagine saying, I make up my mind for marriage. But hold on, it's not pastor, remember it's bishop, you know? Bishop. Yes, bishop, not pastor. Mm -hmm. Bishop, imagine, I don't know how much longer I can take this, you know? He said this man nasty, can't done. Pastor, I know that my marriage will be better for worse, but what I say, I worse this thing, be, you know? No, Sister Jamila, ex explain to me, because you say, you say, he nasty. Explain to me. The man eat, he left the plate on the bed. Not even in the kitchen sink, he left it me watch it. He left it on the bed. 
come from work out in factory clothes, then the man can out from bed one six pass. And what kind of style that pass? What kind of style that bishop? <sighs> All right, Sister Jamelia. Here's what. Have you, I'm not talking have you, have you, have you spoken to him about this? Okay, okay. All right. Here's what. Because remember, I told you in counseling that communication is key. For a marriage to work, communication is key. So here's what. I want you to make sure you go back home and sit him down and talk to him. Back Let down. him know. Mm. Yes, yes, Sister Jamila. Sister, I know it's a touchy can, topic, you know. Listen to me now. I know it. I, I said it's Bishop, not Pastor. As I said, I know it's a touchy topic. And not everybody is willing to tell somebody so they smell bad. I they not be it. But listen, both of you are husband and wife. You need to sit him down and talk to him. Tell him with a straight face that you love him, but in order for this to work, he have to start being. Anything where I say right now, you know, go through one year and come out through the next thing. You, know. you think me not do all of that before me come here? What? Think about it or tell him? Then, Bishop. You think me not think about for telling me all of this thing, but me just yeah, find a place that my heart to start telling. Me not like to embarrass people, you know, Bishop. I, I know, Sister um, Jamila, but remember, this is not just somebody on the street. This is your husband. And you and him are share pillar together. So, this is what I am telling you. And believe in me, I am a bishop. I, I can foresee things. Listen, go home, sit with your husband, and just tell him with a straight face that he needs to do better. And I, I know Brother Brian, you know, and it's not, a, it's not a disgusting man. He will. Pastor, them say, you see me and you can't live with me and two different so You see Brother Brian, you don't know him. All right, Sister Jamila, just take my word for it. Go home, sit him down, and talk to him. I really understand my point of view right now, but me, me try again. Let me try already. All right, and, and I'll, I'm, I'm here for you, so if in case of anything, you can come back and talk to me, all right? So go home and talk to him. So me, me try, as me say. All right, do that. If it not work, you know, so make me try. Yeah, man, and come back to me and let me know, all right, Sister Jamelia? And, I, and I'll be praying and I'll be yes, chanting for both of you, all right? Keep us in your prayers. All right, yeah, go ahead. Be the fibiate. Be the fibiate. Brother Brian, fibiate, you fibiate. Be the fibiate. Brian. Mm -hmm. Wake up, wake up, wake up. You're not going to work. Come on, man. Go hurry up and be it and go to work. You're sure you're going to sit there right here, so. Where close been Pandy? Biz, I don't know. And them something in me at all about, you know. Mm. Watch ya. Why you put this something here so? Come, run go beard, run go beard. Babe, babes, come on, man. Make your little early piece, man. Your beard for a morning? Go beard. Last night when we did want to, you never beard and you still no beard now. You see at this me I tell you about you know, Brian. You cannot continue like this, you know. You allergic to water and soap or something? Me not mean for your feel now, yeah. So I try to say. Yeah, we just do. just get it out. Just let it out. Me Cause me no me no want like to make you feel a type of way. But me be not similar. Me just want to talk to you as my husband. Bills, what we are we are we are. So hold on your hold on your hand. Hold on your hand, the man. Look for the clothes them in the bathroom. This so you know from when them did it. And you insist say you don't want me wash them. Look on the plate out there, so. You see? Me I work too hard for coming in and I, I worry about beard and this. Like, when me out there, so, me you know what? Look on me and then can up, you know, man. Me I cut cane, you know. Listen, babe, look how much people are work. I know, I know you alone are work hard, you know. A lot of people are work hard and them just don't carry themselves like you, you know. Just, just relax. Just go take a shower. You want me to help you? Me nah, me, you know what? I can't go and work here. Oh, man. man, just stay. Let me, me help you and be here. Listen, wash your back. just leave me alone. Because you see all relax. them something here? Me not use them something here, you know? Me not use them something here. If me not feel like for be that not supposed to have nothing for do with you. Me not, if me not feel like for be that not means you don't love me either. So you think it's fair to me for you to tolerate all of this? 
You realize that me trying to keep the place as clean as possible. Look here, so look there. Looking at the bathroom. You know what? Me, 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 you know, from when you're in the clothes, look on the bed, I change the sheet and you steal the panty bed in them clothes. You know, so if you wash me, you have to use hot water. And if you use hot water, I might have catch, me might have get sick. So in other words, the head now go wash. That's what you tell me. You can't wash, but I just, you just skip look wash. Head, skip the head. Look on your foot them. Look on your dirty, cheesy foot them. Grown into the pan your foot them. You think you fear for me to go out there and your foot looks so? Mrs. Your shame, I mean, you know. I know it's fear, but me want the best for you. I think it's best if you leave. Me see you later. No, but just, just go be it. Just, just, just go be it, please. Go be it. Watch me go. Be, be go be it. Just go be it, no? Never me and man, because this is not, utter rock. I'm not let you go. Me know when you go on the road. So people are talk, people are smell you. I know this, just go be Your it. Your business with people, this is rubbish. Help me not feel like just leave me alone. Just let me go. I don't want to leave you alone. Be, you want me warm the water for you? I'm good. When I come back, I beat. When I come back, I remember day I work, I just go on the river, go chuck off, I'm beat. No worry about me. You're going to go? You're sure you're going to If I feel like it. Imagine me go down, they go tell the man whatever you tell me. I you know see the man's time out gonna walk see me and he never be here. Hold on, hold on, sister Jamila. What what really you did you said to me? Because maybe you said something that, that kind of Pastor. We are for you said to me. Lina said nothing bad to him more than me simply go and me humbly say. Honey, you kinda of smell one little wheel and would appreciate if you start beard and me explain nicely. And the man take it to heart like I said, I shouldn't say anything none at all. Alright, 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 sister Bridget. Um, here's what. To be honest, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm your bishop and I like to be um, truthful with you as much. But let me tell you, right. I didn't expect this to happen, but I did kind of smell the scent and. and Pastor, then I, who are you on this? Hold on, let me tell you what I'm going on. I did smell a little bit of odor from Brother Brian and I. I, I, I but because of the, as a pastor of the church, I never really wanted to say anything. But I thought that the fact that he got married, he would have changed his ways and start the end. Pastor, if, if me never know you, man. Come on, imagine say you know. And you're in vegan if you go marry this man. And you not tell me, Pastor? As I said, I thought he would have changed. You're not taught nothing right now, Pastor. You feel no, you feel tell me, Pastor. All right, Sister Jamila. What, what are you saying there? I'm out, gone out, the man never beard, he never wash Where his exactly foot. Where is that going? Gone down at the factory. Alright, here's what. I'm going to head down there and I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to see if I can fix this because okay. this is utter rubbish. When you're done married, I want to can make see a little frowsiness in get back. And I want to and, mash up on the marriage over that. Well, you understand? You can do that in a bishop, but let me advise a careful embarrassment down there. Alright, Sister Jamila, I'm going to go by the factory and see if I can talk to him for you, alright? Pastor, do what you have to do, you know. But without right. tug a workout, but you have to try. Alright, never head down down right now. Alright, alright. All right. Yeah.
Brother Brian. Acha, Mr. Bernard. Where you going it? I don't think so. You may, may come, sir. I'm going to leave it because I know you normally pass my time a, a day. I really wanted to have a, 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 a conversation with you because your wife told me that she said a, she talked to you about a small matter and you got upset and walked out of the house. Bishop Bernard, I'm a big man, you know. I mean, I don't think it's right for me to, to be in the house with my wife. And she had told me that I cannot do certain stuff. I can't do certain stuff because I must bathe on time and all. I'm I bathe when I feel like I bathe. And if I don't feel like I bathe one night, nothing is supposed, you're not supposed to have a problem with that. All right, all right, Brother Brian. Listen, let, 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 let me be honest with you. It's your wife, and she, I'm a matter of fact, she came to me first, you know, and she told me about the situation. And I told her directly to come and talk to you because relationship is based upon communication. And if you have your wife and she can't communicate that to you without you feeling a sort of way, what kind of mind you have? Listen, listen to me, Mr. Bernard, listen to me. You see, my wife, me love my wife, you know. But me make a commitment to myself, say, me didn't have a girl for a long time, when, because she died because me did a, me did a beard. And because she dead because me did a beard, me make a commitment to myself. I'm not supposed to be beard again. All right, all right, brother. Let, let, let me be honest with you because you know a lot of the time we, we in the church and we want we, we want to be diplomatic and we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But let me tell you the truth. You really have an order for you, know, brother Brian. You really have an order, and, and and it's because it wasn't my business to come and say to you, sir, brother Brian, you need to beard or you need to wash your clothes. Me leave it alone. But now you have a wife and the two and you live together. I think it's right if she said to you, sir, Brother Brian, you need to beard and need to fresh up yourself. Oh, how can you have your wife when you just come off of the road or come off of work, dirty and going go lay down with her? How that right? You know, Brother Bernard, I, I work me I come from, as I can see, I but cut before, cane. But listen, before you go, let me tell you, go back to your wife and patch up things. Because this is rubbish. Go back to your wife and patch up things. You know, I have a great, have a great day. You say, Bishop, have a great day. But next time my wife comes to you, run away because my wife is supposed to talk to my business. Come and come to church to turn on. Not because the church put us together. No means they've been living our business. Have a great day, sir. Because I can't deal with them or something. Yeah. Hi, Sister Jamelia. Bishop, I'm glad to see you, see? I want to hear now. Oh, boy. Bishop, I don't know what you do or what you say to him, you know. But he start bed. He go in the bathroom, hear water run, and I don't really smell him again, you know. Oh, so, so you didn't actually see him bed, you hear water run? No, well, yes, I hear the water run, but he don't really smell again. All right, that's good. Um, don't worry yourself. I'll be constantly praying for you because I, I, I love when marriage is working. And nowadays, it's a sad situation that marriages are not working out. So I want both of our marriage to work out, all right? So don't worry yourself, man. I'll be praying for you. And as I said, hopefully you can keep up the, the, the bearding attitude and help you clean up around the house. And whenever I see him again, I'll, I'll keep constantly talk to him mm -hmm. and make sure I say, 
him keep up to him, him, him husbandly duties, all right? Yes, Bishop. All right. Yeah, man. Um, I don't mean I can't check you for, but since I see you, I go turn back up the road there. All right, no problem, man. I don't want the road there, I run go see if I can um, sort out a few business, all right? Yeah. All right. Then. Keep us in the prayers. All right, definitely. It's working. Definitely, clearly. man. Definitely. Man. All right. All right. Why are you jamming in the back in the kitchen? Are you in the kitchen? Okay. Good evening, Bishop. So, so how, how is this, Jamila? How are you doing? Pastor, I... Bishop, I love to come up here, come back about the same thing, you know. But, I think the situation would get better. Because I've been a talk to him and it's like, everything just get worse. He's gone back to the same dirty behavior, him. All right, Sister Jamila, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to apologize once more because, as I tell you, I, I take some form of responsibility for the situation, for the fact that I missed to move. So, here what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to fix this once and for all. Would I appreciate that, Bishop? Yeah, man, I'm going to fix it once and for all. So, here what I want you to do. I want you to go back up to your house, get a bath pan, a brush, and some fab, and do something to get him outside of the pipe. Like, if I help you do something and don't worry yourself, I'll just gather two of the hoodlums from the community <laughs> and just come down by your house. All right? Then, Bishop, what are you really planning to do now? Don't worry yourself. We're not going to do anything negative or bad. This is going to fix the salute. This is going to fix the situation. All right? Yeah. All right, all right, sister? I trust you. All right. Go on, dog. But no, me, no, me, don't come beat up my husband. I'm still my husband. No, man, not like that. I'm, I'm your bishop, and I, I'm, I don't believe in violence. All right. Okay. So just, just go on down your yard, and we'll be there in, in no time. All right. All right. So what you say, get the, the brush and the pan and everything. Yeah, man. A, br a brush, a pan, and get some water, and, and go bring in my pipe side, and we'll, we'll take, we'll take care of the rest from there. Me try my best. I'm not love going near water. Me wonder if I'm gonna come at the pipe. But... Don't worry yourself. Go on. All right. All right. Take care. Me see you. All right. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. All right, um, how far on the reach? All right, here you are. My out uh, the, the, the front part of the road, I wait for you. So here I want. I want you to turn back and get a nice length rope and carry on and come. All right? Yeah, man, so I wait for you, man. Hurry up. All right. All right, thank you, thank, <clears throat> thank you for the turn up. Um, this is kind of a, a tricky situation. Yeah. I have a church sister who are uh, introduced to a church brother to get married. I understand. And uh, for telling the truth, I, I know I, I start feeling like it's one of the biggest mistakes I made because the man nasty, the man no one beard. So because of that, that's why I call you. To see if you can follow me, go up our yard, go tell up our husband, and make the church stab at him. And no worry yourself, you know, you know, will be well compensated. All right? Yeah, that sounds All right. good. But you, you couldn't get a bigger rope. This way, they work, man. Strong, man. All right, all right, no problem. Right. All right, let's go. Yeah, man. Mm. 
Babe, you know, you could, you could, you could do this upstairs, though. No, I outside, no one did. Wait for me, no? You could I do this upstairs because... Me no one do it upstairs. You need to stop it. You foot them crusty, you know? Every night, them just a grate off my skin. You're too extra, man. You're too little bit. Extra weird. You feel your foot better? You feel it? Sit down. Come, hold this in. You only hit me, shouldn't wash too, you know? Me see, it's you want to kill me, man. Kill you with what? Then, no water, no kill nobody. Then if you wash me, then I tell you, I know how your situation is set. And do. No. There is no situation. No, do. Nobody wake up all on the foot. Here, we're going to do this. We're going to ensure, say. In wife, I'm gonna have him outside a bit. I, I, I do whatever she do. Yeah. I'm just jump in and we time up. You hold one hand, me hold one hand, and then you time up. Yeah, man. And the business where I do, we just time up. Well, I'm a good wife, you know. Yeah, my wife want him to clean. Yeah, man, a good wife, man. All right, just say no come. Do no matter the key water. Come, come, come. You don't have the time here, you stupid. Just just take your time. No matter the people. Just. Time, no man. Time! Shit! Yes. Pass, Yeah, man, time, time, time. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Brian, relax, 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 Brian. Hold him, hold him. Hold him, hold him. Hold him, time, time. You mean? You be chewing? No, I feel the best, man. Give me the hand. Yo, yo! Hold your hand. Give me the Hold him, hold him. Damn! Come, sister, hurry up, hurry up, sister, hurry up. Sorry. Please, 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 no matter what I'm saying. Yeah, man, time, 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 good, time, good. No, man, wait him up first, man, wait him up first. Wait him up. No, man, wait him up. All right, we don't want to wait up, you know. Come, come. Wait, come, Watch it, watch it, watch it. Wait him up, wait him up, wait him up, show him, man. Give me a pan, give me a pan with the water. Give me a pan. Yeah, man, swap him up, swap him up, swap him up. Yeah, man. Get some more water, get some more water. Yeah, man, come on, come on, look at me. Come on, look at me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You're right, Esa. Yeah, man, swap them, swap them. Give me, give me a pan, give me a pan with the water. Give me a pan with the water. All them black neck, yeah. Mr. Bernard, Mr. Bernard, please, don't bother. Push up now. Brian, Brian, calm down, calm this is down. for your own good. You hear me? I tell you, for your own good. So, sorry, the sister, sorry. Brother, Brian, please, Brian, please, Brian, please. Yeah, man, this is for, this is going to save your marriage. Listen, man, this is going to save your marriage, and this won't kill you. Come on. Alright, alright, sister, just, just finish with him. And yes, uh, this is good enough. Because so your skin feels smooth and nice now. Hmm? Papa Queen, I feel your best. You! <laughs> you! I don't do nothing more than be you. I don't feel complete. You should be glad to have a wife like that. Sorry, I'm going to take the piece later. Can I get this table? Don't grieve me. Hold up your hand. All right, can't take off this thing on me. Have a great man, make a tan in there too. Babe, the music and dead members say, Are you crazy, you know? Desperate times cause you drastic measures. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So I'm glad to see me at the time, maybe they said you have to do this. Come on. Clap the pizza. That's what I'm going to do. Two weeks now, you're in there. Oh, you feel? <coughs> Come on, man. Nobody overreact. I just look at coffee. So, you said we can get a little piece later, then, right? Yes? Yes, sir. I'm just going to miss a day. See me be a PA now. Come, stand up, stand up. If I never see me, I wouldn't be a PA. 